So I just wanted to thank everybody again. Uh, I wanted to invite Chad Hurst up real quick just to show him our appreciation. I know with this event, uh, it takes a lot of time of me and him kind of setting up with survivors. So I just wanted to thank Chad again and um, show our gratitude for him just with this plaque. So if everyone can give a round of applause to Chad Hurst. He's the one that's behind all these photos. I'm just going to kind of wrap things up, and um, I just wanted to thank everybody again for being here, and I just wanted to, you know, since this is a cancer survivors uh, event, I just wanted to see a raise of hands of who's a cancer survivor that's in the building still. Just raise your hands or stand up or... So I just want to make sure everyone's just acknowledging you guys, I know... Yeah, please. Um, I know with, with starting doing this event each year, we've met some incredible people, and um, unfortunately, we've lost a lot of people as well. So uh, I just wanted to thank everyone again for uh, the opportunity just to let us showcase you and showcase your stories to the public. I know people don't realize uh, how much goes into treatment and survivorship and the bills add up. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go over a few little things too and then I'll um, we'll take about a five minute break just to close up the silent auction and stuff then we'll kind of get winners and then you guys can kind of hang out and make sure you um, finish the food that we still have a little bit left over. So just by another uh, raise of hands, how many of you guys have heard about Need to Be on Medicine before tonight? Okay, so about, probably about half the room. So like I had mentioned earlier, uh, next year we're, we'll be our 10th year um, doing this, and I don't know if you guys were able to see that uh, statistic, and I forgot to grab it, but uh, if Braden maybe could go get that, the Can Survive Statistics sheet on what we've done uh, up until, I believe, September of this year, but just a little bit about Needs Beyond Medicine. Needs Beyond Medicine, what we do is we help patients going through treatment, obviously, with non-medical costs, so uh, a lot of our recipients live in rural parts of Utah and need help with transportation costs and just getting to treatment, uh, groceries, just kind of everyday expenses that people don't realize, so I don't know if people were able to see this, but um, the average grant age of a grant recipient was 50 in 2014. Uh, we were able to help 18 different types of cancers last year. Uh, 53 of those were breast cancer. 28.9% of receivers reported an income of less than $10,000. And 45.2% of the grant receivers reported an income less than $15,000. As of August of this year, we were able to help 718 cancer survivors. And like I said, it can be used just for non-medical costs. Uh, I just wanted to thank again our sponsors, our hosts this year. I know this is the first year we've had it at the Sheraton. It's been a great event. I know we have a little bit more space than we've had in the previous year. So uh, I'd like to thank them and also Sorensen Legacy Foundation, which is uh, the presenter of this year's event as well. So if we could just give them an acknowledgement of that. And also just all of our other sponsors. I know we, you can kind of see them running on uh, the screen to my right. So the biggest thing, you know, I think 
a lot of my friends and family see me kind of working and stressing out a lot. It's a, it's a tough gig. Um, people say, you know, why do you continue to do it? And it's for you survivors. You know, lucky, luckily enough for me, when I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed early enough and just had to have surgery with, I had melanoma and I was lucky enough to get it caught early and just have surgery taking it out. I think that's the biggest drive that helps me each day to know I know we're helping the patients a little bit. I know it's not a huge amount of money, but I think, you know, like those statistics said, less than $15,000 a year, anything helps. And that's what we're trying to do. I know a lot of people probably uh, noticed that this event's dedicated to my mom that passed away when I was a child. And I know that's what helps me get through these days, especially this event. Like all of you guys were here to take a night off on Friday and come and support us. I know everyone's kind of been saying, uh, you know, I was at their first event and it's growing and growing and we're happy it's growing. Like I said, this is the first year at Sheraton and we're kind of growing out of our spaces. But all I want to know, or I, all I want to let everyone know here is just continue, our, continue to support us. We're a local nonprofit. We help cover the entire state of Utah. Um, I know we partner a lot with other organizations that um, do things that we don't do. And we're happy to refer patients to them. But it's my hope that we can continue to increase and continue to grow and go on for another 10 years and continue to have this event for all of you survivors. Because it's truly a night dedicated to you guys and I know that's why we put it on. And, uh, and thank you again for everyone's support. And I hope you've enjoyed the night and enjoyed Chad's beautiful pictures and the stories of all the survivors. Uh, just in closing, I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for your support. I know without it, I know without all of our volunteers tonight, and, uh, my new board of directors, it's been kind of a load off of my shoulders to help stuff and put stuff in order, but I'll continue to put in the hours every day. I'll make sure it's still a successful organization and I'll still continue to move on. And I just want to thank everyone else and thank you for your support and especially some of the familiar faces I've seen the last couple of years. And I want to thank everybody so much from the bottom of my heart because I wouldn't be able to do this without everybody in this room. So thank you so very much and give everybody a round of applause just for yourselves. Uh, this is, as you know, this is a fundraiser. And you've seen the passion of, of the folks who help this organization to help low-income cancer, uh, cancer fighters, cancer survivors. I'd like to do something that is unexpected and a little bit crazy, but I floated it with, with Philip, and he gave me permission to do it. And I wonder, is there anyone in the room who would make a pledge for $1,000 to help four cancer patients with the, with the, uh, the, the, the program? I can't think of what it's called. Hold on. With the relief program. Is there anyone who would pledge, by raising your hand, would pledge $1,000 this year to help four patients with the relief program? Is there anyone who would pledge $750 to help three patients with the relief program? People who make less than $15,000 a year. Is there anyone who would, $750, you will? Thank you. Is there anyone who'd be willing to raise their hand to pledge $500 to help two patients somewhere in Utah this year? 
You will, thank you very much. Hold your hand up for a moment. In the back, thank you. We're gonna come around with some sheets you can fill out from a board member. Thank you very much. Is there anyone who would adopt a cancer patient and help one person with a $250 pledge? Will you raise your hand to help one cancer patient? Thank you. <laughs> Sandy over there, thank you very much. Is there anyone else? Raise your hand. Yes, over here in the middle. Thank you. One person, somewhere in Utah, can't afford groceries, can't afford rent, can't afford gas. Anyone else would be willing to raise their hand for $250? Thank you very much. Yes, you will, thank you. Thank you for your generosity. All right, you guys are off the hook. Thank you very much for those pledges. That is a hard ask, and Philip can't do it because he's in the trenches every day. It's a job of someone who believes, who's, who you don't see every day. So I have that honor to ask you, and I really appreciate the fact that you're willing to raise your hands for those pledges.